What's up guys, it's Eric here with Viking Media and today we are going to do my favorite install, a service bed, specifically a dually service bed. Uh, we are still going to do the pre-panel on the cab right here. We will be doing a separate piece uh, on the service bed itself and be going over a couple little tricks to get them all to line up, what you can get away with and how to go about things. So let's get started. So first things first, we're going to, step one, we're going to install the cab, get it uh, hung and ready to go to align to the service base. Next step, we're going to adjust the wrap and get our text in the right positioning. Uh, this is the only text that we have is right here that really matters. So we want to get that set up first, and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, we've got our uh, cab measured out, and now we're going to put the service bed panel on, make sure they fit before we actually peel a liner on anything and install. So here we go. So when, when you're doing a service bed, there's things to note. You're gonna make a template, but a lot of people aren't doing this. Uh, I've seen it other installers. There's a gap, and you need to take advantage of this gap in your design and your template making of the service bed, and then merging that template with the template of the vehicle itself. You need to account for this space. And then during your install, you need to account for this space as well. I have two lines right here that have to line up with this. I also have a defining line right here that if this ends on this cab, then it will show that the graphic is technically off. And the graphic can be off on a service bed, 100%. You can stretch from here to here, and it almost is beneficial to do so because, it, I don't know why, it just optically it looks better. So, you know, it, it, is this lining up perfectly? No, it's full blown like three inches too far towards the back of the vehicle, but, you need to know how to play it. So there is nothing, these lines do not end on the bed. They disappear. This line does not end on the bed. And it wraps around the corner. So we have nothing that's really defining anything at all. And optically, we'll show it later, um, and I've talked about this before, this is how I would recommend you do the install of the service bed with understanding that don't just put it anywhere. Set yourself up for success because if you do, you're not going to have any issues. So we'll, we'll look at that a little bit further once it's installed and talk about that. Um, I'm going to go show them. Yeah, let's see. So if we come here, you really want to get on eye level, right? So. You know, oh, it's looking all crazy, but here at camera level, you can see it, it's lining up. You gotta get on the level. There we go again. So I'm good, vertically. And I also have set myself up so that there's nothing defining other than that this arm is carrying through. All right guys, so that's uh, that's the layout of the service bed. 
Uh, we're actually gonna do uh, three parts on this because this is separate and there's quite a bit of information on how to do the cuts on the uh, bed itself. And you know, start here, go here. So that is the layout. Check the link in the description uh, for the other two videos themselves on how to do the install of the cap and then how to do the install of the, uh, of the bed.